Hi, my name is Katherine Tuzzle. I'm here to show you my branding styles and design portfolio. Okay, let's look at my branding style. This is my brand. It is a pepper with a shadow underneath. Um, I picked this because I feel like it represented me and my more spicy side and fun and creative. Um, I took the pepper from an original artwork and um, created this logo. On the next page, we have my color palette, which is black, red, and green. Um, and I just thought these were bright, fun, and interesting. On the left is my business card. Um, it shows my email, my address, well, my phone number, and social media that I am on. Next is my resume um, and cover letter. And this, they both have the branding colors and the peppers. Um, next is the stationery. It shows my letterhead and what an envelope would look like if you got something for me. Next in my brand is thank you cards. Uh, these are sent, I would send out after a client um, finishes a job with me or I finish a job with a client. Um, next are the branded envelopes that go with the thank you cards. Um, and this page shows my Behance profile and how I branded it to make it my own. Next is the business email, which clients can get a hold of me from. The lastly is the LinkedIn account. Um, this shows other businesses of who I am and where I can work and what I work for. And then a uh, career compass, another site that helps me look for jobs. The last thing of my brand is these giveaways. One's a business card slash USB, which will host my portfolio. And then the, on the other side would be some pens that um, is a mock-up of what I could potentially give away. So that was my branding style. Next, I will show you my portfolio. So this is my portfolio. Uh, first up is the Whisper in the Woods campaign. This one I'm really proud of because it started out with um, just a sketch of a, a rat you see there. And it um, I put it into Illustrator and refined it and it came out to the logo you see. Um, this, this campaign uh, was about a horror movie that I created for Matthew Hudnall. Um, I created some comps, a poster comp for him in Illustrator, as well as um, a billboard too. Uh, these show my typography skills and uh, photography skills because these are original pictures I was taking. Um, next up is some event swag that I created, um, also in Illustrator. Um, it has a dead tree on it to be kind of a little bit spooky because it's whispers in the woods. Um, next is what the rendering looks like. Um, you've got a water bottle, a bag, and a sweatshirt there. The next project I want to show you is Horrors in the Night. This one um, is also I did for Matthew Hudnall, um, the same artist who commissioned whispers in the woods. Um, this one actually features Illustrator as well. Um, some horror type, uh, which is called 28 Days Later. Um, once again, we feature the production, Rat Bat Boy production logo in there. Um, and it's really great because I like how the white pops in it and the red just adds a little bit splash of color. Um, the ghost here I'm really proud of. Um, that was also hand done in Illustrator along with, um, these posters on social media comps as well. Next is the Sweet Sam Chili Company. Um, this is actually the pepper that I created originally um, to base my personal logo off of. Um, this was um, the company had come to me, a mock company of course, and wanted to rebrand their hot sauce logos. And so uh, this is what I created them. I created three various logos and a uh, labels for their hot bottle, their hot sauces, as well as these print ads also. And then also here's some mock-up. So this is the Colados campaign. First, what I used was, um, I got a brief 
from a fellow designer and so she came up with this curated brief for this coffee house Coladas campaign um i first started designing a social media calendar because this is mainly a social media based campaign um the process of this whole thing was to come up with a social media campaign so i made uh, a recipe blog, logo, social media, um, all of this was done in dimensions or um, in design and a little bit also in Illustrator as well. Um, this fit the brief um, because Colados is a crepe and coffee and so I kind of designed it around that. They were wanting to bring in more family members and that sort of thing. Um, this is a, a email blast that we can't you, we could have sent out. Um, just to help promote and sign up for their new um, blog. The next uh, project I'm going to talk about is the Nice Ice campaign. Um, this one, again, was another one of my favorites. Um, the company had come to us, a uh, mock company came to us, an ice cream truck. They wanted to rebrand and have a new logo for this new food truck of theirs. And so, when I first designed it, um, I came up with these three logos, and I sent it to them. And they came back and gave me feedback and said, hey, we didn't like it. Um, and so, I, they wanted something completely different from what I had shown them. And, and so, this is what I came up with. It's more cartoony, more fun, uh, more free-carrying. Um, originally, I did, like, 30 of these logos uh, right now are shown as only like 15 because um, I narrowed it down just a little bit um, and then I also put in the original concept when I sent them the original designs I put um, these logos for the food truck brand um, oh and so the thumbnails um, they're not featured here, but I first started sketching out, um, this, uh, this ice cream scoop, and I kind of went from there. Um, I just had a very animated, and so I just kept the animation throughout all the logos. Um, next one, uh, this is, this next flyer I'm going to show you is kind of one of my earlier works. Um, once again, I started out with, I just love this little rat I created, sketched by hand. Um, and so, uh, once again, I used Illustrator and, and design for this. But this just kind of shows you the layout and how InDesign and there's supposed to be three columns. And, um, yeah, so that's what basically it is. It shows a three column throughout InDesign and the grid lines and that sort of thing. My um, last campaign is Fresh Market. This shows my collaboration with another co-worker. Um, and so this one, the brief was to, re it was a, a repair campaign. And so Fresh Market had some um, not so good work employee life balance going on and there wasn't really career advancements for the employees. And so, um, I was able to take their brand and just kind of refresh it up a little bit and, um, have an in kind of like an in-house campaign for the employees, letting them know that the fresh market heard their needs and that they were wanting to show change. Um, so I created an in-link post, a poster, uh, that could potentially get put up in like a break room and some Facebook posts for their, um, company social media. Um, this is what one of the posters could potentially look like, as well as a social media post. Um, I guess the very last one is the Rogue Brotherness. This is also another one of my earlier works um, that I kind of spruced up a little bit. Um, so, I have the thumbnails there. Um, I started figuring out mainly typography, because um, that was kind of one of the assignments was the typography. And... Um, I'm kind of working with um, masking and that sort of thing. And so I took a grunge picture or a grunge texture and kind of masked it onto the typography a little bit. 
Um, I used uh, Edwardian font uh, for the pictures and just kind of placed their logo right at the bottom. And this is supposed to give that tranquility, calm, peace type feel. Um, not normally what the rogues known for because they're mainly known for the, the rough rides. But, um, and boat rides, but this is supposed to kind of gear towards a different side of the Rogue River. And that's it. Thank you for taking the time to listen to me while I introduce my brand and my portfolio to you. Thank you for your time.